it's Petunia Gal, and we are here over in a brand new zoo on Planet Zoo. So and I wanted to go ahead. I want to start this zoo as a, um, uh, just the the way to have the DLC. Um, see, and I can't redo a lot of this path. It's really weird. But yeah, I want to start it out to be all the Africa DLC animals. And then we'll also add other African animals to the zoo. I think that's probably a good start at least. So what we need is to get our staff facilities here. And I wonder, uh, let's do, well, I'm not going to worry about paying for huge, you know, uh, themed things right now. We'll just put down a keeper hut and hit Z a couple of times. Um, this may not be far enough away. We'll see. So we got a keeper hut. There we go. Uh, I think that's all we need, right? Pretty sure. Again, it's been a while since I've since I've done this from scratch. So you'll have to you'll have to um, bear with me for a bit. We need a keeper and caretaker. I mean, some of these, I some of these we could probably do without, but I like to get, um, we'll just get these three for now, and we'll hit play, let them draw, actually, let's play a little bit longer, okay, so I want to make sure, because they always come in making a lot more money than what they need to make, so, at least for the beginning, I think this one, yeah, this one's the cheapest that it can be. This one, do that. Okay, so we got those three. So what we want to do, um, let's go ahead and see if we can find an animal. So we'll do animal trading. And I kind of wish there was a way you can filter for the, like, the packs. That would be awesome. But, oh well. Let's do filter. And we will go with, I kind of think, th I kind of think we're going to start off with the meerkats. Because I have been wanting meerkats in here for so long. And they're, they're finally here. So we're going to do meerkats. And confirm. And let's see. Uh, okay, so we don't have to spend cash on them which is good so we'll go ahead we'll get a mail oh goodness uh that'll be good we've we've got the conservation credits <laughs> so we don't have to worry about that we got a mail and oh wow is that the only female we've got another oh my goodness really nope don't do that do this um, so we have something else. There we go. We don't need that one. And let's go ahead and filter for female. I know they like a lot more in their habitat than just two. But, oh my goodness, really? Um, we'll get this one for now, I guess. I hate to spend too much money, uh, but we'll do this for now. So I wanted to go ahead and change up the path a little bit. It looked a little weird because it, I thought it was pretty much on the grid, but you could see the little design like going off to the side. I didn't like it, so I did it again. Um, and yeah, so we're going to do a bit of a voiceover for this, uh, this section. I kind of went back and forth with the voiceovers. So, uh, you'll, you'll know it, obviously. It'll be sped up where I'm doing voiceovers at. But I went ahead and, um, kind of, I think I did most of this on the grid, honestly, because, uh, it's just a little bit easier that way, I think. So, we get it connected as well as we can. And, um, I think I pretty much cut out the part where I struggled with the path here. Um, I did want to try to go ahead and make, make it a little bit of a sunken habitat, but not too much. 
Um, obviously, you can tell it's not super sunk in. I did it a little bit more. But I really hate the way the, the land kind of um, gets all messed up around the path. It, I really wish it would just be like a smooth thing around the path. It's just super annoying. But that's just what I think. So um, I still am not quite sure about it. But I made a little bit of uh, different land heights there. And I just uh, changed it up to be a null habitat barrier along the outside. And I did cut a bunch of that because I was doing a lot of just moving around and making sure things fit. So here I'm going to do a custom uh, barrier for the outside. This I just like do the, doing the custom barriers because for one, it makes a lot less uh, time that you'll have to have a mechanic go and you know, fix the habitat barrier. So, uh, I like doing custom. Um, I kind of was, was debating on whether to use rock or maybe just like little, uh, poles, you know, sticking out and then uh, kind of making like, making it look more of an actual fence. But I went with the rock, uh, you know, I went the Africa rock and I think it worked out pretty good. So, I did go ahead and include some of this just so you guys could see what I was doing. And I was trying to uh, look and make sure I got it down at the right height for the people. So, you know, it's not too tall, but it's not too short. Um, so I think, I think it's about the right height. And I couldn't remember why it was not on the grid that I wanted it to be on, but... Uh, I think we figured it out in the end. <laughs> and uh, so, yeah, you just have to go between the world axis and the whatever other axis there is. I really don't know what it is, but <laughs> it worked out. So uh, the main thing you want to make sure of when you do this stuff is just to make sure to keep moving things around, like turning them around or or turning them upside down just so they don't look quite as similar to the one you placed already. So I think it looks pretty good in the end. And I tried to get it as close to the path as possible. Um, then I think it works out pretty good. Let's go back to the live version. Here we go. Okay, so we're back. And um, I decided on a few different changes here. Um, I realized I was making the habitat way too big. So I went ahead and made it quite a bit smaller here. And um, if you look at the meerkat here and go to uh, environment, no, uh, terrain, uh, you can see it's still got like a lot more um, area than it really needs. But I wanted to keep uh, kind of enough space where, you know, we could put... Um, decorations and, and nature stuff around here. So what I do want to do first is let's go into, I keep going to the wrong one. Let's go to terrain. And so they want soil and I'll show you guys uh, or tell you guys what I thought about when I was doing this weird terrain here. Um, but let's see if we do that. And then I feel like I have this on a bigger scale than it should be for the interface but I think they just like a lot of soil um they have some short grass we could put put short grass like I don't know around here just just a little bit I mean not like a ton maybe along the outside like that I think that's cool and let's see, um, do a little bit of rock here where it's all weird. I may change that up a little bit. It's kind of, it may be a little too much, but we'll do that. And, uh, I think that's probably good. I mean... Let's do 
bring the intensity down quite a bit and we'll just add some soil around all of it to kind of lighten it up a little bit since that's what they like <laughs> I think we'll just stop there okay so I want to show you guys what I did here with the terrain so uh, my plan is to make it look more like um, kind of burrows that they're bur burrowing in this way and maybe out that way I don't know I don't know if we'll be able to, you know, pull it off, but we'll see. And uh, then this is like a little lookout area. But what I did is just use the pool tool here. And then um, I used the uh, roughen. So I just kind of clicked around till it looked like it was kind of roughening it, roughening it up enough. And um, it may have gone a little bit too crazy on something. Like this is a really big uh, dip there so I don't know if I'll keep that what was what I was planning on doing is making this kind of like an out uh, overlook area where they can come and um you know they have they always have that one main uh meerkat that is kind of like a lookout so I was kind of hoping to do something like so, that I definitely want to bring some trees in we got to make sure though that they can't climb out from these trees I don't know if these are like climbable trees or not let's see we'll go ahead see these i'm thinking may look cool if we uh yeah if we like just put it into the side like that i don't know I'm not sure that's kind of where i wanted it to look like it was kind of a burrow that they're going into and i don't know if this is going to be uh be enough to like let them use this as a shelter so let's not put this one in there let's just do that over here and i was thinking maybe um later on we could even make it where uh the meerkats and the aardvarks i think um will be able to share a habitat but for now i just wanted to focus uh, to begin with on the uh, Africa pack so let's go let's go ahead and reset that for now um, I'm going to change just the bi uh, not biome the continent to Africa and I think that's all I'm going to change for now uh, let's see so here we're just going to try to find some foliage that works in here. Uh, I thought about using this little bush in one of these holes, but that didn't really turn out for me very well. Uh, I tried to use this, uh, I don't actually remember what it's called, but I thought it would be like a fallen tree or something. Um, it doesn't quite turn out the way I was hoping. <laughs> I went ahead and actually used it in a different a uh, different thing later on in the video but as you can see I mess around with the color a lot I am horrible at trying to figure out what colors go but I uh, did did my best I wanted to try to keep things as similar in color as possible and here I went ahead and used these flat rocks to make some kind of a I guess a shelter I wanted it to be I wanted to look more like a den but I'm not sure I actually got it to look that way. But that was the plan. And so uh, I just made this kind of uh, little shelter area. And I need to check and see if they even call this a shelter. Uh, I hope they do. But we make this one here. And then I also go and make one over on the other side. Because I wanted it to look like they could literally, you know, climb through the the ground you know the it was actually a burrow that they could dig in obviously this is way bigger than a burrow but uh i think it looks okay uh let me know what you guys think i'm not super uh super set on any of this i may go ahead and just kind of play around with it off camera just to see uh, if there's something any better that i could do uh, right now this is what we're going with but let me know what you guys think about it down in the comments. And sometimes I think I'm just a little too, I don't know, uh, I'm too 
down on myself, I guess, about like not getting it looking the way I wanted it. And hopefully it looks okay. And I try to cut out quite a bit of the parts where the camera's just moving way too fast because I don't, I don't like watching that. And uh, I'm guessing some people, you know, that are watching these don't like it either. So I try to limit that as much as I can. Let me know if I did a good enough job or if I still need to uh, do some work on that. But here I'm just copying and pasting it over to this other side. And I don't know about this thing in the middle. What I wanted it to be was like a lookout area for the meerkats to kind of stand up and look out and make sure there's nothing coming, you know, dangerous or anything like that. But I don't know if it quite worked out that way. <laughs> so I do a, a lot more just a little smoothing and pushing land here and there because it is really like hilly in this habitat. And I wasn't really planning on, being, on it being that hilly. Um, so I did try to smooth out some stuff. And I don't know if it's me or... I mean, this ground just seems like way too shiny, you know? I am, I almost want something, I don't know, some grass just to cover it all. Uh, but I tried to put bedding there for those dens, and it just kept messing with the ground. Oh, it was driving me insane. I was like, no. As you can see here, I placed this, and this land still messes up, so I have to do more smoothing. So we do a lot of smoothing around here. And uh, I think I cut most of it. Let's get back to real time. So if you guys are Patreons and you would like to be a certain staff member, let me know. Um, obviously, I'm going to just have to add staff members as we go. But the first staff member I'm going to add is going to be Haley. And I'm just going to leave it as Haley, I think. <laughs> And, um, we have the main staff rooms. Um, I wonder if I want to keep it that way. So we've got Haley and, um, the mechanic, uh, wizard. I will make you a mechanic. And again, if you guys want different, uh, let me know. Um, and e loves, I will make you our caretaker. You will keep everything nice and clean for us. E loves, <clears throat> there we go. So we got three of them in. <laughs> but yeah, I will be putting you guys in. And again, let me know if you want any certain um, job or, you know, if you want to look over any certain animal let me know um i'm going to i guess let's uh yeah we need to go back to habitat though because let's see we need so yeah this the food enrichment's good so we need a toy enrichment now uh this so i went ahead and used uh toy enrichment and we went ahead and went with the uh, bubble machine. I think I, I like the bubble machine. It's really cool. And the water jet enrichment to me just seems like, I don't know. It seems like you need it underwater. I'm not sure, but I mess around with the colors again. And you know, it kind of comes down to, do you want it to stick out or do you want it to blend in? So I kind of went with the blending in thing. So I went here f with the uh, rocks we got from the aquatic pack. Oh, these are so cool. Um, and the only problem is trying to get a color. I mean, for me, that is like the hardest part is getting the color right in any of this stuff. But I do cut out most of this. I did want to show you guys what I did. Just kind of, um, you know, hitting shift and dropping it into the, the ground a little bit. And here, I did a little bit to try to make it look like bedding, even though we can't obviously get bedding down there because it just messes with the ground way too much. So, obviously, that other one doesn't really, this one right here, it doesn't really look like bedding because it's way too far, like, on an incline. It's kind of like the back of the den instead of, like, an actual bedding area. So, I don't know. I don't know what to do with that. But I went ahead and 
extended these rocks down so they looked a little bit more connected to the ground. And I wanted to look at how to connect some, uh, connect, uh, to put some foliage in here. Um, I like these flowers. You guys know me in pink, you know, anything pink I love. So that I will definitely take. Um, but I, I know they don't have a lot of grass in their habitat. Um, I mean, either that or it just looks like kind of dead grass, I think. I don't know. But this is where I use that kind of tree limb branch trunk. I don't know what it is. <laughs> so I decided to use it for this water, uh, water pipe here because I know there's a ton of people that hate the water pipes. Uh, I don't mind them, but I kind of like the idea of trying to hide them away a little bit. So I use these little rocks again. They're from the aquatic pack and I just, um, turn, you know, move them around. And again, I just want to make them look different. So I do a lot of turning them around, turning them over, you know, making them look a little bit different than the others. So I think this looks pretty good. I like it. Um, so we get it all the way around and I'm not quite sure if the meerkats can actually use it. I mean, it, it shows in their uh, traversable area that they can get to it, but I haven't actually seen them use it. So we'll see if it actually works. <laughs> but I think it turned out pretty good. And I thought about changing the color, but I think it looks pretty pretty good as far as um, blending in with the, the other stuff. So I do change the trunk here to look a little bit more, you know, like it belongs. But I think that's about it for the voiceover, if I'm not mistaken. So let's get back to real time. Click on this guy. I just love these guys. They're so cute. <laughs> so cute. Look, he's going to play with the bubbles. Kind of. <laughs> that is a big thing <laughs> okay you know what yeah let's <laughs> uh i'm wondering if we get out of that will this still work if we put it like if we sink it into the thing because like sink it down like that if that works any better Oh, now he's gone. It's like, no, I'm done. <laughs> like, now that you made it easier for me, I'm out of here. I don't know. I don't know if that worked or not. But that, that little standing up animation did look cute, though. So, I don't know. Maybe we keep it that way? Not sure. So, yeah, we got a little bit of habitat going on here. I like it. Um... Our money's kind of getting down there a little bit, but oh, let's see these guys. Look at these guys real quick. Oh, look at that. That is so cute. <laughs> so cute. Oh, goodness. This game is just so cool. I love it. <clears throat> so I think that's probably where we're going to end for this one. Um... We'll try to do a bit more on the habitat next time. And um, we need to get some uh, education boards and some do just some like benches around and all that. And then next time, probably uh, also try to get the um, food, like a food shop and stuff like that. Because, you know, everybody wants food, right? Um, let's see, we've got a rush, uh, restroom, I was going to say restaurant, but that's not what we have. Uh, we've got a restroom over here and we've got our first staff buildings over there. Let me know what you guys think about this. This is a little natural path. Um, I don't know. I don't know if we use that instead. Um, I, I kind of like the little, I don't know, the little curbs you get on this one. It's kind of cool, but but yeah, let me know what you guys think about the start of this new zoo. I haven't really come up with a um, name yet, but let me know um, what you guys think. I kind of needed a name for the, uh, for, you know, this whole series, but I can always try to change it up and, uh, 
you know, see we'll what see. you guys think. But I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have, definitely hit that thumbs up. Also, if you're new to my channel or haven't already, go and hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit the bell to get notified of videos as they come out. And if you uh, want to play this game or check out any of my social media or Patreon links, they're all down below in the description. And I do want to mention a couple of things. One is I would really like to get to the 1,000 sub goal for um, uh, for this year. I would like to get to the 1,000 subs just so I can get the um, you know the community wall for you guys to let you guys know what's going on. Maybe post some pictures, some updates, all that fun stuff. Um, and also, uh, I do have a long-term goal set up for a new handicap accessible van. If you guys would be interested in giving to that, that'd be super awesome. I would, I would so appreciate that. Um, but, uh, but yeah, so until next time, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you have a super blessed night or day wherever you are. And yeah, I will see you next time. Bye guys.